All right, so as I'm working on this base painting layer with my pastel brush, I'm noticing that I probably want a little bit more room on the bottom um, to be able to kind of fade it out and not be cramped. So I'm going to increase my canvas size. Maybe make it about 24 inches. which is a nice standard size. And then, of course, I can extend my sketch, which here is only 60%. Let me keep that locked and extend my copy of it, which I have at 100%, and just fill in this empty space. With content aware, and that will just give me that kind of papery background from uh, the scan of my sketch, which was just done with copy paper. You see how that extends it. I don't necessarily want my sketch to be repeated, so I'm going to content aware again, just this, and hopefully it will sample from some of these empty areas. Yeah, that's better. Then I can always use the patch tool to blend that in with other parts of paper. All right, good enough. So as I continue to work, let's lock that back, go to the base painting layer. I'm noticing um, that my, my painting and my reference, his eyes are a little too flat across and not drooping in the same way. So I'm going to fix that, not with erasing, but with adding more paint, kind of framing in. So let's, um, let's choose some colors. Let's see, I need the shadow on the eye. I'm going to choose a bluish color. Let's see if I can frame in those pupils a little bit. And that gives that kind of heavier lidded feel. Let's see. Just having fun with this little brush while I have it putting in some values. I'm going to change my reference pretty soon. Remember, red is a pretty pretty safe color to use around the eye, especially as we're going to layer up on top of it. Some of these stronger, darker oranges as well. Dusting of the eyebrows. That's going to complement with blue nicely. I'll throw a little bit of that blue in for the tie. So the big thing is the back part of the eye really slopes down. And the tear ducts are quite high. So that's the, the sense I need to get. So I don't lose likeness. So 
to be honest, his face does feel like it can still be lengthened a little bit and narrowed. Uh, at this size, this brush is a little bit more of a finishing brush than a base, pair, base painting brush, but I'm using this opportunity where I, I have it a little bit smaller for, for framing the eyes just to get used to it. But unlike some digital paintings I do, I'm going to try my best to use this one brush for everything, just at different sizes as I get more. detail, more refined with the painting. All right, so that's helping. Now for that soft pastel look, I also want to be careful not to to leave everything too closed. It should feel kind of dreamy and open. That's what I'm going for. So an impression more than anything else. Interesting shadow right there. Okay, so let's save there and move back to the bigger brush. And maybe before I go too much further, play with stretching it one last time now in this new canvas size. It worries me that it's taking a long time to save and it's hiccuping on me a little bit. but I'll take this opportunity as well to bring in some other reference. For instance, this Toulouse-Lautrec. Well, I'll do it this way, let's see. First, I'll arrange it using window arrange, three up stacked. Move this over. Maybe zoom in a tiny bit, maybe not. <laughs> and then let me bring in the Toulouse-Lautrec pastel to here. So that I can go between them, should I want to. But I like the blues in this, for sure. And the kind of swirls in the hair. This is the effect I'm hoping for. And you see how the sketch is kind of on top. So that might be something I play with too. All right, so now I don't want to bring in too much reference all at once into Photoshop because it's already running a little slow. So now if I go back to my original I can select, unlock everything except my very base sketch. And let me play with stretching it again a little bit now that I have more space to play with. Maybe even tilting it a little bit.
you can see my sketch pushes that flower in, which I think makes sense for the composition. Make it overlap the lapel a little bit. Yeah, I think that helps. So what we can do is while it's unlocked, I can actually take a duplicate of that flower, the colored photograph version of it. Command J, duplicate it with the move tool, auto select turned off. I can move it, rotate it, free transform it. Go behind and then even attempt, I'll just do it with an eraser or even just with the magic wand. This is just for color reference, for value reference. Cut out some of that background, at least where it overlaps the color, the collar. All right. I don't want it to overlap the tie too much. At least the areas of the tie I find helpful. Okay, good. Now I can use clone stamp. And target the original flower. Kind of wipe that out and also extend when I have a little bit on its edge. Should that be useful? Oops. And these are those basic compositing skills coming back to help over and over again, those are helpful. Okay, and then go back to the flower, massage it in a little bit more. And then merge these two together, hold down shift, command E. Yeah, I think that's all working. All right, now if we turn off everything except my base painting, it's a good time to put in a toned background, 50% gray. And this shows me all the things in my painting, especially things I didn't know were there that I don't necessarily want. And it shows that those colors are really helping to augment. Okay, so let's keep it up. Let's keep framing this thing in. I might also bring in, let's see, I want something with crazier color. Yeah, that's pretty good for different color variations. So I might bring that in, bring that in up here. No, probably down here with my other reference. So I can steal colors from that every once in a while. Let's stay on the Toulouse track for now. All right. And if anything, I want to be just more aggressive now as I've used my new reference. So I go ahead and make my brush a little bit bigger. It's, it's, it's at 100% this brush because it softens through its um, texture rather than its opacity. And then I'll attack.